Yes, it's the time of the year again. So, today we're gonna talk about Steve Lukather's guitar tone. We're gonna talk mostly about the more recent one, the Bogner tone. I have done like a, a, a what to say, unlocking the Steve Lukather guitar playing style. It's over here. Or if it's there, I can't really remember. I need to do more YouTube to remember. So it's here or there. But today we're gonna go through and look in the helix a little bit. So if you want this tone, you can do your little manipulations of your own. But if you want to buy this specific tone, it's in the description below. So if you want to, you can check it out and it would support the channel. So why not? Uh, this is uh, what the clean, let's see here. It's the clean with the acoustic simulator on. So it sounds like this. Pretty cool, pretty cool. So what, what do we have going on here? We have uh, a compressor uh, who is working, is it working hard? Not super hard, maybe maybe 8 dB of compression or something, but maybe you should uh, do a little bit more or use the like, uh, is it the Studio LA compressor or something? Maybe that will squish it a little bit more, I don't know. Uh, but it sounds pretty good. Uh, and then we have the amp, is the uh, Litigator, is it? Litigator. Yeah, I like that amp, it's, you can uh, get uh, all sorts of tones with it, so it's nice. Uh, yeah, just gonna scroll through here. Looks like this. So I have it very low on the gain on the clean stuff. Yeah, sounds like that. And then I have dual cabs. I have the dual cabs. Uh, and with, I, I love the new, uh, it's not super new, but you know, the new update on the Line 6 Helix where you can change the microphone the, where it's uh, on the cab. I, I always wanted that before they uh, introduced it, so it, that's really nice. Uh, I got the ribbon one to one. Uh, this is the settings. I have the high cut pretty, pretty low because he has like a very uh, centered sound on the, the new sounds. So uh, you could you could raise it up on the clean stuff if you wanted to, but I didn't do it because I, <laughs> I'm too lazy. So uh, I have this cab and this cab. And this one is the Ribbon 160. Um, looks like this. Same here, Dramat dramatic cut, <laughs> so to speak. And now we come to the good stuff. Uh, all the EQs. So I have, you can see here, I've removed, although we don't have 31k on uh, the guitar, I put it down anyway because on the, I think it's on, on the, when I use the acoustic sim, you have body, you can change body. And then if you have uh, the body, you want the body, but not too much, and it gets muffled. And when I took that away, uh, it uh, helped it a little bit. Uh, you can see <laughs> you have <laughs> 12 dB on 250 Hz, that's nice. 11 dB on 500. And wait till you see the next EQ. This is crazy. Yeah, looks like this. Pull down the level a little bit. I don't know why, I just did it. This looked like that. 3 dB here. Like, it, it's the same, so 250, 500, 750. <laughs> I just pushed them up because I listened to the, the transition uh, pickups uh, demo and he has a very centered sound there and I was going for that sound and I'm gonna show you later with the with the thicker what do you say with the overdrive with the overdrive um, presets or overdrive snapshots you may say because this is just one preset so that's great you have everything in one preset uh, yeah uh, and the acoustic sim looks like this. I have it on standard mode. I should maybe have it on piercer mode because I tried the piercer mode on another preset and it sounded really nice. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, let's keep going. Chorus, the regular chorus. I was trying the, what is it called? It's called Trinity Chorus, but I don't think it sounded... Maybe I, I yeah, you can, as, uh, 
if you buy this patch, you can do what you want with it. So you can uh, yeah, try st stuff out. But I have the regular chorus. Looks like this, 50%, pretty high. Delay, dual delay, this one. You can hear stereo. A little bit slow, I should, I should uh, make it a little more, more quick, but uh, maybe that's for another day. Nice. Uh, then I have glitz stereo, uh, just a little bit in the mix, you can hear if I remove the delay and the other verb. It's pretty uh, high-endy. You almost get the whole, whole verb, but more high-end. And then on the the last um, block I have a dynamic plate, also stereo. And with that it sounds like this. Then you get a little bit longer tail and a little bit more verb. So everything sounds like this. Pretty sweet. So let's move on to the next next patch. So this is the chorus patch without the acoustic sim. So this is a more mid-range, you can say. Sounds pretty good as well. And I, I have it on the, uh, what do you say, the, the middle, not the middle, but in between the sounds, you know. Because if I don't, it sounds like this. Doesn't really work as well. Really good. And we can move on. It's the same settings almost. I think the EQ is almost the same. Uh, or is it just the same? I think it's just the same. And the settings on the amp and everything is the same. So I can try the U. I have a Univibe as well. Uh, and it sounds like this. Yeah, uh, sounds like that. Let's see Univibe settings uh, like this. Also, I have everything in stereo because why not? I can do it, so you have to... The reworks you have to have in stereo, if you have in mono, you're like, I don't know who has it in mono. It's so, uh, mix 40%, la la la, looks like that. Yeah, and now I changed a little bit, so I have the scream, I think it is it, is it the tube screamer. Uh, looks like this, I have it very low on the tone, because I wanted that, um, as I said, the, the, the uh, precise sound, it's, it's pretty muffled, but clear. So it's mid-range, but uh, with some punch. You listen to the transition uh, demo. It's awesome. It sounds. It, 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 this tone is pretty close, if I may say so myself. Yeah, and the amp, I gained it up a little bit, took down the treble. Yeah, that's it. Nothing else really changed. I have the same settings on the verb and delay uh, all the time. So uh, you don't need to worry about that. Uh, now we can go on the blues preset. So the blues preset is the same as the Univibe. I think it's kind of the same, maybe a little bit different on on the... Let's see. Maybe, maybe. Yeah, the Univibe has a little bit more gain. Because I think that it, it, the, when you put on the, the effect, the, it flattens out the gain a little bit, so I pushed it up. So this is the sound of the blues patch. And you can use it with the, the middle, the in-between sound as well, it sounds really nice. It 
sounds nice. And if you wonder why I always play plays in E, that's the only <laughs> what do you say? That's the only key I know. So there you go. E and A is my keys, go-to keys. I don't like F, for example. Except this chord. Now we know. So uh, let's move on to the rhythm patch where you have a little bit more fuller sound, more gain, stuff like that. Uh, let's see here. We have um, almost full on the scream and then a little bit more gain on the amp as well. And it sounds like this. So you can have it as a solo, I guess. Yeah, sounds like that. And then we have the lead, the lead patch. It's a lot of gain. I don't think I have. I have used the noise gate, but it's not the, so. It's just on. Yeah, you can see it on the screen. <laughs> so you can hear a little bit of sound. But if you want less, just put on more noise gate. You can always uh, uh, calibrate it on the snapshot so you have more noise gate on the lead and less on the clean and so on. Sounds like this. Something like that. I don't think I played it right, but <laughs> you get the idea. Yeah, sounds like that. Uh, yeah, just uh, a little bit more gain. I put on one more, uh, one more. Uh, what do you say? Distortion. One more overdrive, and this is the, the tone severe rain. <laughs> I can't pronounce it. Uh, looks like this. Yeah. And the last uh, preset is just the rhythm with some um, chorus, so it sounds more like the LA rack era, you know, uh, in the 90s. Sounds nice. Yeah, sounds nice. That's pretty much it. So <laughs> if you like this video, be sure to leave a thumbs up and hope to see you in the next video. Bye bye.